Hello, my friends. May God bless you all. And there is no greater blessing coming from God than the clarification, the understanding, the discernment of His Word, spiritual discernment, the revelation of His Word for each and every one of us. Because the Word of God eliminates, removes all doubts, fears, anxieties, and all sort of evil. So may the Word of God, the Word of the Holy Spirit come and meet all of your needs right now, in this moment, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to to tell you, to all of you, actually not me, <laughs> I am just a spokesman of the Word of God. And he says like this, God said, Behold, all souls are mine, the soul of the Father as well as the soul of the Son is mine. Which means, in other words, all souls belong to God. Actually, He is the one who gave it to us. When He created Adam, the first thing He did was to breathe in His nostrils the breath of life which is the soul. So, from that moment on, Adam became a living soul. With Eve was the same thing. And then, humanity came into existence. Human beings generated by a living soul. So, it's souls. So that means that the soul that is inside of you as the soul that is inside of me was made by God, was given by Him. He gives it to us. So when a child is generated, the soul of that child is given by God. What does not mean that all souls are going to be saved. No. If this was true, then Jesus wouldn't have to come to the world and give His soul in order to buy my soul and your soul and the soul of all those who believe in Him. So, a soul, the souls belong to God. It is His property. It doesn't mean, I repeat, that all souls are going to be saved. Because he himself says, the soul who sins shall die. And when God speaks about death, it's not about the death that we know. The death that God is referring to is the lake of fire and brimstone where will be Satan, the beast, the false prophet, death, death will be there, and Hades as well. And on top of these five elements will be also all those, all the souls whose names were not found written in the book of life. So, those whose names are not found written in the Book of Life will not enter heaven. They will go straight to the lake of fire and brimstone. Just as an example, because when I was young, I took a few exams to enter university. And there was a great anxiety inside of me 
to know whether or not I had passed those exams. So I would go to the newspapers and tried to find my name there or to see if my subscription number was there to see whether or not I had been approved in the exam. And this also happens to all the young people nowadays, those who try to take a test to go to uni or they do the national exam. They do the exams and then they will try and check to see if they were approved or not. If they were approved, then there is much joy. If they did not get approved, then there is frustration and sadness. And this is how it is concerning the souls, all souls. And in the case here, God is dealing with eternal life or eternal death. It's a punishment, it's a suffering that is eternal. So when the person, when the soul of the person was not, their name was not found written in the book of life, then that person will go straight to the lake of fire where, again, I repeat, will be the devil, Satan, the beast, the false prophet who deceived the world with his philosophies, death, death, yes, the death that we know well, we've seen it in this world. And also Hades, Hades where people are today, those who lost their salvation, the privilege of being saved, and they are in Hades now, these people and the entire Hades will be transferred to the lake of fire and brimstone. But those who will go to the lake of fire and brimstone, they will be judged, and later on then, they will be condemned and thrown in the lake of fire and brimstone. So, when God says, the soul who sins shall die, this is what He's talking about, the lake of fire and brimstone. The punishment, the suffering that is eternal, where the fire never ceases. Jesus said, there, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Meaning, there, in the lake of fire and brimstone, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know, you know what weeping is. And for sure, what you know what gnashing of teeth is, because when you feel an unbearable pain, then the teeth, they gnash against each other, trying to handle the pain. And Jesus said that there in the lake of fire and brimstone, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So, my friend, if you believe in the Lord Jesus or not, if you obey His word or not, if you are of God or not of God, if you believe in God or not, if you are this or that, it does not matter who you are. It does not matter who you are. One thing is written and determined. If you, if you want to save your soul, then you have to accept Jesus as Lord, because He came to the world to give His soul for yours. And if you reject, if you reject Him, then you are going to die the way that everybody else whose name not found written in the book of life will be in the lake of fire and brimstone. It's not Hades. Hades is not the final destination. The final destination is the, f the lake of fire and brimstone. So, knowing that, you can then and you must, obviously, make your choice. Because regardless of whether or not you believe in God, 
regardless of whether or not you are this or that, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is your soul. The soul that you don't see, the soul that you don't feel, you feel the results of suffering, the suffering of your soul. So, for example, someone said, if you want to know hell, no depression. Someone said that depression is a little piece of hell inside of a person. And because of that, people who, who feel that void, that huge hole in, in their chest, people who feel a deep sadness that is agonizing, people who have a, an anxiety that is unbearable, people who live in fear, with insomnia, insomnia, for example, a person who doesn't sleep at night, they get desperate, their body may even stay in bed, but the soul doesn't rest because they don't feel sleep, they don't feel like sleeping. So many people take a sleeping tablet, they appeal to medications, to tranquilizers, in order to be able to sleep, but in reality, they are trying to comfort their soul. And this is the soul that we are talking about here. This soul that feels insomniac, that feels empty in the body. This soul that cannot control itself with drinks and addictions and drugs. This soul that cannot control itself inside of, of your body, this soul that sings will go to the lake of fire and brimstone where there will be nothing else to be done. There will be no more hope. There is hope, there is hope as long as the person is alive and they can decide here in their mind, in their intelligence, their intellect. Therefore, it's an intelligent faith that we are talking about. It's not a faith of feelings, of sensations, of enthusiasm, of feelings. No, it's a rational faith. And that's why God has given us His Word. His Word forces people to reason and then make their own choices. I want, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Or then I reject, I want to live life as I want, with freedom, with liberty, and do whatever I want. No problem, there's no problem. You can do whatever you want with your life, but when your soul detaches from your body, then it first will go to hell, and then afterwards it will be resurrected to, to present itself before the white throne and then it will be judged there and condemned because, because the works of the soul will follow it and we will be witnesses against that soul and that person will then be thrown in the lake of fire and brimstone and God will judge righteously. Therefore, my friend, whether people accept it or not, whether people like it or not, whether the philosophists speak yes or no concerning this, it does not matter. All souls are gods. It does not mean, I repeat and I repeat and repeat again, it does not mean that these souls are going to be with God. They won't go because he says, that the soul, all souls are His, the soul of the Father as well as the soul of the Son is mine. The soul who sings shall die, which means it won't stay with me. It will go to the lake of fire and brimstone. So, you have intelligence, reasoning, intellect. So think, use your reasoning, Use your intelligence, just a little bit, please. 
instead of using your heart, use just a little bit of your intelligence. Read the Bible and you will see. You will check there what we are talking about. And if you don't believe in the Bible, then the warning has been given to you. May God bless you all. And I'll see you tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.